Hey, it's Patrick, and let's talk about Desert Fox fuel cells. So if you're an ADV person out there and you're looking to go long stretches like on a BDR or something, you're always maybe trying to pack some extra fuel, or maybe you're a chopper guy who's just you know, on Biltwell's EDR and you're down there south of the border in Mexico, you got that long stretch to get to San Felipe, you're always running out of gas, this would be perfect for either of you because we all know how like clunky and cumbersome it can be to try to strap a gas can or a fuel cell of some sort to a motorcycle. Now there are some good ones out there like Rotopacks and things like that, but if you don't have that set up on your bike, you know, you're kind of out in the cold. You're, you're stuck strapping a weirdly shaped object to your motorcycle. That's where these kind of come in really handy. You can see we have this one on top of a tour pack here. This is the three liter version. There is a six liter version and a 20 liter version that I like to call the Boxo Fuel. And they can be strapped just about anywhere. Pricing is $100, roughly $140 and $200. So the best bang for buck is the six liter version right here. But like I said, you can strap this to a tour pack. If you have side hard panniers on your bike, they strap really easy to the top of that. You could daisy chain them if you wanted to stack them up. They all have nice D-rings on here. As you can see, that's how we have this one on this tour pack here. The three liter and the 20 liter have molly strapping, which I like. For some reason, the six liter does not, but it does have these nice cinch straps here. That's another nice feature I like on this one because if you use only part of this, instead of having it kind of like, you know, slosh around, you can tighten this up and keep the fluid in it tightened down. So maybe it's not sloshing as much. You use up some of that slack in there. The two bigger ones have carrying handles, which is also nice. Now you're probably wondering, well, that's cool. I see your cap. It's pretty easy probably to pump the gas in there, but how do we get it out? Well, Desert Fox have you, has you covered there as well. They include a nice little spout here. And it's long enough where you can put this in your tank probably without sloshing fuel all over you. And at first I was a little bit skeptical about how this threaded on there, but I've done it and it actually cinches down pretty tight. I think you may spill just a, maybe a little bit. It might leak just a tad. I'm not really, it, it's pretty tight though. And this isn't like an everyday use thing. So if you're gonna be putting this on, you know, your bike and using it, it's gonna be an emergency situation. If you dribble a little gas out, probably not the end of the world. But otherwise, I think it's probably gonna work substantially enough to where you won't be stranded. Now, the other question I had right off the bat was, can I put water in this? And according to Desert, Desert Fox, yes, you can put water in it. And I don't think this needs to be said, but I'll say it anyway, don't put water in it after you put gas in it. Once you put gas in it, it is a gas canister, not a water canister. Quite honestly, I think that's what I would use this for the most. On my adventure bike, when I camp, I'm always carrying a couple liters of water into camp to use for coffee or dehydrated meals or whatever. So for me, I think something like the small one, the three liter full of water would be probably pretty handy. But if you are going those long distances where you have to cover some ground, worry about running enough fuel, this is, I think, a pretty solid option to keep you from throwing your thumb out and begging for a ride to the next gas station. As always, if you need more information, go ahead and click that info tab on your desktop or mobile device. That's gonna take you to the product detail page where you can read other writers' reviews and more info about all of these fuel cells. If you're still looking for more information, feel free to reach out to our customer service team. They would love to talk to you about what works best for you, your motorcycle, and your budget. I am Patrick, thank you for watching. I go work on those motorcycles.